everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, this is my fifth and last show of the day. My guest from the Urban Pharmacy is Stacey Heine, and she's going to be talking about beauty, lifestyle, and low-tox living and the making of fabulous recipe, Lemon Bars to Live For. She's got a couple of fabulous books in the Ultimate Vegan Health and Weight Loss Bundle, and she'll tell you about them. And if you'd like to get it from Stacy, I'll put a link right below this video. It's called the show notes and also in the chat so you can catch it from her because really it's only about 30 more hours left and then it'll be gone for good where you get over 120 distinct brand new products, eBooks, courses, exclusive video, coupons from your favorite plant-based doctors, influencers, chefs, athletes and vendors and it's valued if priced individually at close to $6,500. Please welcome Stacy. Hello, how are you? Hello there, Chef AJ. Thank you so much for holding space with me right now. I'm super excited to let everybody know about how amazing this bundle is. And then of course, what I have uh, contributed. So I have two contributions, like AJ was saying, in the Ultimate Health and Weight Loss Bundle. Um, the first one is a 10 day detox, which really is just whole plant foods uh, for 10 days, breakfast, lunch, and dinner to help you get off the pleasure trap, which we know Chef AJ talks about all the time. It has um, miso as the option if you want to use salt um, and then no sugar or oil. And it is just delightful. And my favorite recipe in that is actually the carrot cake overnight oats. It's so simple and so easy. And um, Dr. Stephanie Peacock, which I'll be talking about a few times in this show yesterday or the day before she made the blueberry muffins from that detox and just all the recipes are really yummy and tasty. And then today, AJ, what I'm going to tell you about though, is my video course, which is called get the glow up. And what this is, is a, like I said, a video course plus rep recipes to help you, uh, glow with from within. And then also to learn about how environmental toxins impact our, our skin and our health, um, and how lifestyle really impacts our skin. And I incorporated some recipes and I'm going to show you the luscious lemon bars at the very end of this. Nice. Great. So I have my little marker board here. You guys probably can't see it, but it's just my cheat sheet. So I'm going to pull it up and tell you about what is inside. And if anybody has questions as we go, just pop them of course in the chat and um, let me know if you have questions about some of the things uh, to get the glow up. So in the video course, I, I go much more in depth with these topics, but I'm just gonna tell you what they are. And then there's a few little surprises in the video course as well. So the first thing that really impacts our skin health and our skin integrity and the way that we look is sleep hygiene. There is actually a study done, there's actually been multiple studies, but one that really sticks out to me is that if you uh, sleep less than five hours or less compared to seven to nine hours, there's significantly more collagen in the, the group that was sleeping seven to nine hours. So little sleep, saggy skin. Okay. So we want to have as voluptuous and hydrated looking skin and rested skin as possible. And if we want to naturally produce collagen, which I'm going to be talking about a lot today, then we need to make sure that we're getting an, a good amount of sleep. We know that sleep impacts everything in our life, right? It impacts the choices that we make when it comes to eating healthy or non-healthy food. It triggers um, us to want like dopamine, you know, high sugar foods if we're not sleeping enough, right? And that is linked to um, <laughs> reducing the skin uh, glow. And then also if you are just, if you're if you're dehydrated and you're not sleeping enough, you're going to just look tired. You're going to have those circles under your eyes. So sleep hygiene absolutely impacts your skin health directly. Also daily movement. So daily movement has been something that's a big part of my life. I used to own a Pilates studio for five and a half years and, um, anything that I could do to help people move, whether it was yoga, whether it was Pilates reformer, whether it was mat Pilates or cardio, Anything that you can do to move your body is going to first help you eliminate toxins, which we're going to talk more about, but also help your blood flow. And the better that your blood is flowing, the greater your skin is going to glow. So you want to do anything you can to get your skin to glow through movement, cardiovascular movement. So your daily movement could look like a simple walk. It could again, look like yoga. It could look like stretching anything to get the blood going and to help reduce the 
uh, potential inflammation in our lymph nodes, which I'm going to touch on here very soon. The next is hydration. So you guys, if we are drinking enough water, that's amazing, right? And you could definitely go by the eight cups a day standardized, you know, water intake, or you could focus on juicy, hydrating fruits, um, veggies, right? And of course we even have water and starchy vegetables, depending on how we're cooking them. If we're cooking them, like boiling them, or if we're dry roasting them, that's going to be a little different, but there will be more water content in the steamed or boiled versions of our starchy veggies. And we need hydration. If we want to keep a vivacious, bright looking complexion, we need to hydrate our skin next protecting your skin. So this is something that really is not just about us, but this is also about the earth. So Yes, we need to protect our skin to reduce the sun, the sunspot, you know, and the aging that we can get from over sun exposure, but we also need to know about how to choose a safer sunscreen, which I talked to you guys about in the video bundle, um, because there's oxybenzene, oxybenzone and other ingredients that are in our chemical SPFs that are actually ruining the coral reef and killing the um, marine life. So if it's bad for the marine life, if it's killing the coral reef, what is it doing to us, right? So we need to know about these environmental toxins and how to choose safer sunscreen, how to look through uh, for a physical sunscreen that sits more on top of your skin, but doesn't give you a white cast um, and performs well. So that is sun protection. I in particular had horrible damage on my face and my chest for so many years. And I reversed it from wearing a hat, wearing sun protection on my chest and my face in particularly, and using some skincare products that help to turn around the, the sunspots that I have. The next is of course, a fabulous food. You guys, we have to be focusing on whole plant foods if we really want to get the glow up. So what we ingest is going to impact our gut health and all of that in turn shows through our skin. So whether you have acne or you have eczema or psoriasis or inflammation of the skin, or you can't heal from different um, cuts and scrapes very well, your skin health is a direct mirror of your gut health. So when we are eating whole plant foods that feed the beneficial bacteria in our gut, that is going to, again, directly show up in our skin. So super high fat diets and diets that are high in dairy are linked with acne, um, there are other foods that we can eat like beans that are actually in the lemon bars I'm going to be making here. It's a secret ingredient that sweep out using fiber to sweep out your colon and help you detoxify from everyday toxins that come our way, which is very important if we want to have the glow up. Next is red light therapy. So this is a little hack that I actually use. <laughs> Again, I know you can't see these works, but I'm using it as my, as my little cheat sheet. Red light therapy. This actually, the one that I use um, is a handheld device and I just hold it in front of my face for like 12 minutes um, every morning. This one was actually that I use was actually created by Dr. Vivian Chen. AJ, I know you know her. She's incredible. And she's, a, she's just an amazing lifestyle medicine doctor that is really into environmental toxins and how we can reduce those. And actually red light therapy and near infrared light is proven to increase our mitochondrial health and our collagen production. So I know you guys have probably seen red light panel places. There's these stores popping up everywhere that helps you reduce inflammation from injuries um, or whatever ailment you might be going through. But the red light therapy is also really good for your skin. So that might be something that you want to look into. Next is mind, body, gut health, and stress. And really, I could have made these into three different topics, but I kind of bundled it all together because it really does go together. So if we are creating a healthy mind body routine, whether it's 10 minutes of legs up the wall in the morning to shift into parasympathetic state out of sympathetic state, that is going to increase our good gut bacteria, which then goes to gut health and reduce our stress. All of these things have an impact on the way that our skin glows on the way that our skin looks. So if we want dullness, if we want lots of wrinkles, we're going to go ahead and be stressed out. We're going to have a leaky gut. And we're going to be, uh, we're not going to be practicing any sort of mind body connection. So you'll learn more about that in the bundle. Um, the next one is a safer skincare routine. You've seen a safer skincare routine, um, here on chef AJ, I use beauty counter. Mostly it's a B corporation that puts equal emphasis on people, product and planet. 
And again, with the sunscreen, we have to know that what we're putting on our skin affects our body internally. It affects our hormones. So we need to be, again, Dr. Stephanie Peacock today talked about phthalates, right? We need to be looking and seeking out better brands of skincare that are more natural first off, but also that are packaged in um, containers that have less pliable plastic. We know that the more pliable the plastic is, the more it's going to leach these hormone disruptors into our products that we use on our largest organ every single day. And so a safer skin care really helps you get the glow up. Second or um, next is dry brushing. You guys, have you ever seen a dry brush AJ? Yeah. They, I, I learned about them at the optimum health Institute and they Ooh. sell me true North. Yeah. I love that. So this is a little biohack, just like red light therapy is to um, help you not only slough off dead skin across all of your limbs and even your chest and like your legs and everything, which I show you guys how to do and kind of go with the meridians of your body, but it also helps to flush your lymph nodes and really help you detoxify. So this is a really great way. Like if you're not a very active person, dry brushing is actually a super awesome way to start stimulating your blood flow right underneath your dermal layer and help to again, flush out toxins that we don't need, which disrupt our gut and impact our skin health. But it also just feels good right before a shower. And I absolutely love dry brushing. Um, the next thing is exfoliation. So face chest, we want to exfoliate our skin on a normal basis. We don't want to over exfoliate that would create excess oil and dryness, but, um, exfoliation, whether it is through clay or through, um, like bamboo particles, or, um, maybe even a tool, like a little sponge on your skin, that's going to help slop off dead skin to help improve your skin health, help to increase collagen production. And again, help improve your circulation right underneath that dermal layer and reduce toxins out of your body. The next is clean cosmetics routine. And I'm super happy to say that the clean cosmetics routine I show you guys is 100% vegan. I double, triple checked in this, um, in this demo. And I actually use a vegan new hyaluronic lip balm that I put on my, uh, on my cheeks as well. So it's a dual purpose product and it gets you out the door in five minutes, but it's safe. It doesn't impact your hormones. It doesn't increase your chemical load and it is, um, very high performing. And then very last today, I'm going to tell you guys about Gua Sha. Gua Sha is an Asian skincare technique. This is my Jade Stone right here. Um, you can get rose quartz. You can get all different types of rollers for your skin. There's so many different ways to do this. But Gua Sha is a really great way to help reduce inflammation that you find in your face. Or uh, you can do Gua Sha on your whole body. It just would use a larger tool. But I show you how to do it with a facial oil on and to really glide the tool across your skin get underneath where your lymph nodes are and flush it out down through the side of your neck and your clavicle. So I'm glad. I can't wait, Stacy, because I actually was gifted one of those and I wasn't hundred percent sure how to use it. And I just want to let you know that Kimmy bought the bundle and she started your video course and she says it's so good. Oh, yay. Good. Great. It just gives me training wheels for the next one. I just can't wait to, you know, edit it actually, instead of just hitting play on zoom, like, um, you know, making it really professional, but Kyle, can you help me out here? I'm having my husband come out and move this out. Um, how are we doing on time, AJ? That's fine. And I just, I have one, I have a question from oh, sure. Sheila. Who makes the red light? Oh, um, it is Loombox Pro. And I do have a discount code for you if you want to message me on Instagram, or you can just simply go to Loombox and buy it. But um, I think I have a $250 discount. It is not cheap. And I will tell you, if you guys actually go to like the, um, if you go to the red light therapy places that I was doing, like for a long time, you spend so much more money <laughs> going to that for like a monthly membership than just getting your own. So it was a worthwhile investment for me, but I have a $250 gift uh, discount code. Um, if you want to message me and get that, or it's actually in the, in the bundle, the, the discount code. Is. Nice. And here's a question for hydration. Does a caffeinated drink like tea mean you should actually drink more water? Oh, okay. So do what now? I'm sorry. Does it, when you drink a caffeinated drink like tea, does it mean you need to drink more water? Yeah. Well, that's a diuretic. So caffeinated anything is a diuretic, which can help you lose water weight. Um, so yeah, it can actually um, make you look dehydrated. It can make your eyes kind of look sunken in and it can again, make you dehydrated. So that is a good, a really great question. I think I do touch caffeine really fast in the video course, but, um, 
We also do know, AJ, that caffeine can have good skin benefits, but personally for me, we just don't, we just don't have the caffeine because it's an overstimulation and um, we don't need it. So, um, but just have a little bit more water if you do choose to have caffeine. Great. All right. Are we good? Any other questions? Nope, not right now. Thank you. Okay. We are going to make these luscious lemon bars. You guys, there's two versions of these lemon bars in the ultimate weight loss bundle. And I'm actually adding, because this is a living, breathing course that you guys can access. I'm going to add one more dessert into it tonight. So, uh, and I'll show you what it is at the very end. It's very simple, but it's so delicious and very nutritious. So, okay. I have my fancy machine. I copy off of AJ. So I use the Nutramilk machine. This is my favorite kitchen machine ever. Um, we're just going to do dates for the crust and oats. A lot of the times these, these bars, you know, they're made with dates and nuts and that's fine at, for the crust. I, I do that often, but since, um, the filling that we're using has cashews in it, um, we're keeping the crust lower in fat. So I really want to make sure that I do this right. And that it actually works properly because it's possible that it won't. Um, so we're going to blitz, uh, oats, dates, and a little bit of vanilla bean powder. Now, oats have flavonoids in them, you guys, amino acids, antioxidants, fatty acids that increase your complexion and reduce inflammation. Okay. So we want the oats. We also want dates, which are really good for sub subcutaneous tissue, um, to, to increase our subcutaneous tissue, to make our skin look more plump and then increase, um, the, the softness of our skin dates are really great for that. And then dates are so high in antioxidants that they actually reduce free radicals. And, um, that's really good because anything that is a free radical to our skin makes our skin dull and wrinkly. And we just don't want that. Nobody wants that. Okay. So, oh, I need to add vanilla bean powder. Vanilla bean powder itself, you guys, is just incredible. It makes things taste so much better than the vanilla extract. So like Chef AJ says, if you could splurge on vanilla bean powder, do that. Um, and then I'm going to add a little bit of water. You could absolutely use a little plant milk, but we just need enough to get it together to push it into the pot, into the pan. So I'm going to blend that. It really doesn't take long. You can leave it crunch, like, you know, leave it little pieces if you want, or get it really, really smooth. It's totally up to you. We kind of like it textured. So these are the lower fat ones and the crust is a little bit textured. You can still see the oats and you're not really grinding it all the way to a flour. Which is better for blood sugar. Just a few more seconds. Oh, it looks like it's in a ball. So we're good to go. Okay. So all of these particular measurements are in the bundle in the video course, but it's a very simple crust and it comes together very easily. I do have gloves just for the sake of this show to make things go fast. Our best kitchen tool is for sure our hands. I used to work in bakeries and restaurants, well, cafes and I just use my hands for pretty much everything. Just came, it's just so much easier. I'm gonna try not to leave too many pieces in here because we're gonna make the filling now. And the filling is made with cashews, which I'm gonna tell you about now. They are high in copper, which is really good for our skin. They're also really high. They actually have vitamin C in them, cashews do, do which um, vitamin C I go over in the bundle. Topically, vitamin C is really great. And also when you ingest vitamin C, it is so good for um, collagen production. So um, it also helps your skin look more supple, uh, nuts and seeds in general do. And then there are lots of studies on nuts and seeds that actually help to improve your skin elasticity and even your hydration. So that's interesting. I'm just pressing this crust into a lined baking sheet. I just use unbleached parchment paper and I'm just pressing it evenly. 
Uh, Colleen's asking if there's a difference between white vanilla powder and dark. Absolutely. The white vanilla powder is completely fake and processed and has sugar. I would not buy it. Yeah. You know, I was out in town and we went to this like organic new like cafe and I got this herbal tonic um, off of their menu and it had no sweetener in it on the menu. And I was like, oh, this is great. That's what I want. You know, I had like licorice root in there, which is naturally sweet. I got it and it was so sweet. And I was like, what is in this? And she's like, oh, we just decided to throw a little bit of white vanilla powder in there. And I was like, oh my God, it was just super, it was super sweet. Um, so yes, definitely tastes very different. I do think though, AJ, that vanilla bean powder itself is a little bit sweeter than having vanilla extract on its own. Like, yeah, I don't know. Vanilla extract now just tastes very fake to me. Yeah. It's just tastes like alcohol. Um, Okay, so now we're going to make the crust or the filling. So I got my crust all pushed down. That's ready to go. And we're going to do lemon juice, beans, cashews. What else is in here? Dates. Beans are really, really great for your skin. Okay. I was thinking as I went into this bundle and making this glow up course that everything would be raw. I was thinking that all my recipes would be raw because we've seen how many great things are, you know, in raw fruits and vegetables for people who are raw. Um, and their skin always looks glowing, but come to find out grains and beans have so many beneficial compounds in them for our skin. So again, beans are high in antioxidants. Um, they help reduce anti, uh, free radical damage. They also have a good amount of zinc, which is good for our skin. And that actually reduces acne. So foods that are higher in zinc, like even pumpkin seeds and beans, that's good for acne and any really in, inflammatory skin issue. And beans can also, they've been shown to reduce wrinkles. So that's a good thing. And then the last ingredient in here is lemon packed with vitamin C. So, so, so good for collagen production without having to take those collagen supplements that you see everybody taking, which I would never take. So, um, Yes, that is the filling. Got to put the dates in. That's important. That's the sweetener. All right. You would think that I have never used this. And it's always when people are watching that it, yeah. Of course. It, uh, like my blender like spewed everywhere a few nights ago when I was doing a demo. So, so fun. All right, I'm gonna pour this in and then show you the last, the other recipe that's lower in fat. Let this combine for 15 more seconds. You cannot even taste the beans. It's very interesting. Um, if you don't want beans, you could absolutely use cashews. Um, you can use more cashews going to be higher in fat. Um, that would equate to two cups of cashews in the whole batch, which really isn't that much. My son is going to show you how good these low fat version are. You guys, this is Cohen. Cohen's been on the show before. Um, he's, he's getting bigger. Hi. Oh my God. You look great. Those look great too. These are made with roasted Japanese sweet potatoes. Okay. And the crust is low fat. So it's just dates and oats. And these are made with this roasted Japanese sweet potato. They are so good. So this lemony. Has fiber. has fiber in it. That's great. They look amazing. Does it help your skin, Colin? Yep. Why does it help your skin? Yeah, because it has vitamin C. That's right. That is right. Vitamin C, anything that has vitamin C, strawberries, citrus fruits. All of that is wonderful for your skin health. So I'm just gonna finish pouring this batter in and just leveling it off. And then I freeze the, um, I freeze the lemon bars. So um, these are great for the whole family, as you can see, even young children like them, 
even if they're kind of tart, they're very lemony, um, but it's because we're getting the glow up. We're not messing around here. Video of science. Okay. Um, does anybody have any questions, AJ, before I we... look? Okay. Um, is there a way to get the benefits of foods that need cooking in the raw form? Is there a benefits to, to, okay. Like, so, you know like how people say things. like, like, for example, the lutein and spinach and the carotenoids and sweet potatoes and carrots and the lycopene and tomatoes, they, we've heard people say are more bioavailable when cooked. cooked. Right, right. This is why I think it's, it's a really healthy thing to mix raw and cooked foods. Um, I think that if you wanted to, like, for example, with the, um, with like sulforaphane and broccoli, right. To activate the sulforaphane, you actually need to be having raw, a little bit of raw, um, a little bit of raw broccoli with your cooked broccoli. If you really want to activate that sulforaphane, which is a really great compound for, um, cancer protection. So I would say to that, um, you can look up again. Yeah. There's more antioxidant value. Well, there's more lycopene, which is good for your skin and cooked tomatoes, but there's also more vitamin C and raw tomatoes. So again, finding a nice balance, a good, uh, variety is key. Uh, but you could probably look that up to see, you know, if there are specific things and I would just mix them together. I would do a little bit of cooks, a little bit of raw spinach with my cooked spinach. That's, that's my answer to that. Nice. What, would you do, Greg? what do you think? Me? Yeah. What do you think about uh, that? I, I don't worry about that kind of thing, to be honest. Yeah. I don't worry about nutrient density or nutrient deficiency. So I don't get into that. I just watched that video. Dr. Doug Lyle did called nutrient obsession. Stop it now. And I just eat food and I eat the same thing every day. And guess what? I have no deficiencies. So and I don't worry. Looks amazing. Yeah, I don't. Well, I think staying out of the sun is probably the best thing you can do for your skin, at least getting not on your face. I mean, you, we need sun quite obviously, but right, right. Don't yeah. it on our face. Let's see. Yeah. Have you ever frozen those? That's what I'm going to do. Yep. I freeze them. So um, I Stephanie right. wants to know where you find the recipe for the lemon bars. This is in Stacy's new book. That's part of the ultimate vegan health and weight loss bundle. I just posted the link to get it from Stacy just now in the chat. I've done it many times in the chat and it's also in the uh, show notes. Yes. So uh, Once you go into the video course, you will scroll all the way down to get all the recipes. You can either get the Google doc, you can click the link and get the Google doc, or you can just have them. You can see them all underneath the recipe section. So you have two ways to kind of access the recipes. Very cool. Well, this yeah. is oh, great. And then, oh, oh, I'm so sorry, AJ. I'm adding this tonight. I'm adding this tonight, you guys. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And I have this leftover from the news. Um, this is chocolate dip for strawberries for your Valentine's Day. This is made 100% whole plant foods. And with the vitamin C content and the antioxidants from the cocoa or cacao that you use in this, you're going to absolutely love it. So again, since my, my course is living and breathing, I can add this. So I'm adding this tonight so you can get the recipe. It's absolutely gorgeous and smooth and delicious. So you guys get the chocolate dip strawberry recipe too. Very good. Thank you. You're so welcome. Anything else you want to add? No, I hope that you guys get the bundle. There's so many things just aside from my, you know, from my contribution. Again, I do talk a little bit about toxins in there, but there are a lot of toxin, you know, topics in the bundle, which I think is super important for people to understand a little bit more about, not just for our bodies, but also for the environment. So I would definitely check out the bundle for that. And then of course, all the amazing like ethnic recipes, like Elspeth's Costa Rican and Julia's, you know, um, Japanese and all of the movement things. I haven't really even been able to submerge myself into it yet um, as much as I want to, but I can't wait to, I can't wait to. There's so many amazing things. Great. Well, thank you so much, Stacy. Thank you, AJ, for having me on. I really appreciate it. And everybody have a great day. Great. Thanks. Don't forget, get the bundle. If you want to get it from Stacy, just click right below and please come back at 9 a.m. tomorrow when we, we actually have only two more bundle shows. And tomorrow is Kathy Hester at nine o'clock and she's going to be talking about her new